What is going on Radar Force? I'm using my stream setup here to film this video just because it's a little easier. Uh, I'm not sure how well the quality is coming out for you guys, but this is going to be a little quick video here. Uh, and I know I haven't been posting a lot on YouTube. I've been busy as all get out, bro, for real. I just wanted to do a little collection update video, if you want to call it that. It is an update. Now, though you guys already know that my collection is completed. Uh, completely in the United States, all Dragon Ball Media. I am still getting pre-orders, of course, but these are updates to VHSs that I wanted sealed because that's the only thing I want to update sealed is VHSs. I don't care for DVDs sealed. Uh, but needless to say, another Dragon Ball collector uh, on eBay selling some Dragon Ball DVDs. Uh, they started chatting uh, about some of the DVDs, I assume. And anyways, come to find out, this guy has some VHSs um, that he had as kids and that he bought as kids. Uh, and he, he still wants to keep his collection, of course, which is understandable. But he had these two items um, in his collection that were fat or sealed. And of course, I spotted him with my ball when he showed me that he had this tape. And I was like, ooh, that's sealed. And ooh, and then there's this other thing sealed. So then I was, you know, it, immediately interested in, like, what do I got to do to get this, you know? Uh, and anyways... Um, the guy that gave me these tapes, he has a YouTube channel, Hyper Dragon Reviews is his name. And let's see, I should be able to show it right here. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And right there. Yep, Hyper Dragon Reviews right here. He does videos of Dragon Ball toy reviews. He's a, Like I said, he is a figure collector. If I said it, he collects figures for Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z and GT and all that. That's his main passion in his collection. He has about, I think he said he has like, well, I can't say all the figures because it's never ending, but he has a lot of them. Uh, I don't know figures. I do not, but he has a lot. He has a lot. And uh, that's his YouTube channel, so go subscribe to him. Uh, I hope to do a lot of uh, videos with this guy because I want to document the figures myself to further explore my channel because my channel is mainly about... Uh, teaching people everything about Dragon Ball releases because I am a media freak so figurines are st something that I can partner up with somebody to do anyways the tapes that this guy had um, that I needed sealed were of course the infamous I call them mythicals oh, both of these are mythicals in my opinion but <coughs> he had the mythical battle is one edited oh wrong way edited VHS tape factory sealed. Uh, I do have this one used right here. This is my copy here uh, And I actually do have the complete saga here as well As you can see oh my god, I can't hold things straight as you can see right here and now I can actually finally officially say that I have the whole saga factory sealed which is Insanely to even is insane to even see this is well other than seeing his because he actually had all these three sealed This is the first time that I've actually seen this complete saga sealed And it's actually the first time that I've ever bear witness to this tape ever being sealed out of out of all the collectors I know I've never seen this tape sealed and that's insane. So Amazing 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 Well, the next thing that I got from this seller is a box set the rarest Dragon Ball box set out of all the box sets and that is of course you've guessed it oh, the fusion saga the fusion saga this is the Dragon Ball Z fusion edited box set and yes it's the edited version I know a lot of people get confused on the edited version because a lot of people will put uncut tape I mean edited tapes in an uncut box not sure if you can tell from my webcam but on each tape name it does not have the parentheses in uncut which means it's the edited box and if you can't see the bottom of the box, well, there's a few things you can you can tell from the top. Well, obviously you can tell from the edited uh, text here. This sticker was actually over that, so if you can't if that sticker or if there's something covering it, and you can't see that, there's a few other ways to tell. You can tell by the run times of the tapes. Usually the edited are like 60 or so, or depending on the you know the tape. You can compare it to the uncut box if you have that. If the text is different, if the runtime is different from the uncut to the edited, you know you have what box you have. But the main thing to see is right here. It says not rated edited for television. That is also a go-to thing. 
But yes, this box is factory sealed and complete in all its glory. I actually do have, I've only seen, I've only seen about five Battle of One edited ever. Oh, and this is the only one I've seen sealed. I have seen three Fusion edited box sets. I own, well, technically I own both of them. I have owned two of the three that I've seen. This is my used set. This box is absolutely destroyed. I got this for 20 bucks years ago. This is actually my set here. And you can tell it's edited. Uh, but it is insanely beat up. You can see the creases on the back. Every the top is just it's just it's just beat up. But this is actually going to be donated to my homie that helped me start my Dragon Ball collection. He is the whole reason behind my entire collection. Actually, he I started collecting VHSs and I got I got the Freezer Saga uncut and I wanted to get the rest, but my friend wanted he's like I want to get them too, but I want to get them all factory sealed. Thus began uh, my journey on getting everything sealed, and then that insane idea made me get the idea to get to get every Dragon Ball media ever released in the United States, and that's where I'm at now. And it's nice to have a few updates. Uh, I'm gonna real quick since I, this is a uh, awesome video here, I, and it's collection update, whatever. I'm going to ex I'm going to show you all the things that I need sealed. All right, so the first thing, the first tape that I'm actually missing 10 tapes sealed to have a completely 100% sealed VHS collection out of the 301 VHS tapes. I think it'd be 303 if West City Chase edited and Underwater Hunt edited existed, but I believe it's 301. Uh, I'll have to go count later again to confirm. But the first tape that I'm missing that I do not have sealed is Dragon Ball Z Arrival uh, edited, I believe. I'm always confused if this is edited or uncut. I assume it's edited because the edited is, this one's way harder to get. Usually edited is harder to get than the uncut. I do have the other version sealed. This is this one I do not have factory sealed. I call that the arrival alternate artwork. Uh, I don't know what you guys call it. Um, second tape, and this one's probably the one I really don't care to get sealed, but you know, if I see it, it is actually Z Warriors Prepare uh, the Burger King edition because it has no spine, no spine art for the Trunk Saga. Uh, this was released in Burger King as a Happy Meal. I have seen this one sealed. I have not, I have not seen that one sealed. I have seen this one sealed from a co fellow collector. Does not want to trade. Uh, next we have another pretty dumb VHS, which I don't really care for this one as well. But if I see it, I'm gonna get it. Is Dragon Ball: The Magic Begins? Uh, have not, have not seen that one sealed. I've seen it in original. Shrink wrap. Um, next, we have Dead Zone in the cardboard sleeve, not the uh, clamshell. Subtitled uh, in English. This is the sub version in the cardboard sleeve, not the. I have the clamshell subtitled version sealed, but I have seen this one sealed. I have seen that one sealed. So. I have seen that one sealed. Uh, and next we have Tree of Might uh, subtitled sleeve. Uh, next we have Tree of Might uh, subtitled VHS. I've never, I've seen this one sealed, but never got my hands on it. Uh, this one's only released in the cardboard sleeve, so there's no clamshell. I, I have seen that one sealed though. And next we have Sleeping in Princess Devil's Castle, the uh, the edited release here. Uh, I have not seen that one sealed ever in my entire lifetime with eyeballs. Never seen it, not even in the collector's hands. Alright, and the only box set that I've never acquired sealed is the edited Trunks box set. I've never acquired this box set sealed. I have seen one for NFL collector's collection. Does not want to trade. The same guy that has the other ones does not want to trade. And we're down to the last three, and these are obviously the most insane. Uh, five Warriors edited. I've never seen that one sealed ever. Of course, that one is insanely rare. That was the last thing I was missing in my collection for seven years. But, you know, other than that, I'm not really worried about this one. But, you know, if I see it. Uh, next, we have another Boba Tate, uh, Goku Journey Edited. Uh, I have seen this one still from the same guy that uh, <laughs> uh, had these trunks and the Z-Wars prepare. Uh, so, does not want to trade. And last but not least, we have Tian Shin Han Tournament Day Edited. Uh, I have seen this one sealed. I've seen two of these sealed. Uh, one sold on eBay and another one is in a guy's collection that does not want to trade. Same guy that has the other ones. So, 
those are the ones I'm missing. I will go over the ones that I've never seen sealed. So ones that I've never seen sealed, once again, is Five Warriors, never seen sealed. Never seen uh, Sleeping in Princess that was Castle sealed, edited. I've never seen Dragon Ball The Magic Begins. Then again, I've only looked for that in for a year. And I've never seen a rival edited or alternate artwork sealed ever. So out of all the uh, out of all 301 tapes, I've never seen four tapes factory sealed. The rest of those I'm missing, I have seen with my eyeballs. I've even had the chance to buy some, but uh, just got away from me. And then there's some in a collect in one guy's collection that just does not want to give up. Like he won't even take my used one for his sealed one, uh, even for the calls. But well, that's fine. Uh, one day I will get them. I'm gonna claim it now. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we'll get them. But that is it. Um, subscribe to Hyper Dragon Reviews, and that has been it for this uh, awesome collection update video. Also, like an update on my on the channel. I will post more videos. I've been super busy. Stay tuned. Keep up with me. Um, let's complete this sealed collection and play Dragon Ball game. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Take care. Radar out.